Hong Kong Stock Exchange Directors Training Responsibilities of Directors of Companies Listed on the Main Board of the Hong Kong Stock Exchange Listing Rule Disclosure Obligations 1. The Role and Duties of the SFC and Exchange The SFC is responsible for enforcement of the statutory obligation to disclose inside information. The exchange will not give guidance on the interpretation or operation of the SFO or the SFC's guidelines. Where, however, the exchange is aware of a possible breach of the statutory disclosure obligation, the exchange will refer to the SFC. The exchange will not take any disciplinary action itself under the rules unless the SFC considers it inappropriate to pursue the matter under the SFO and the exchange considers action under the rules for a possible breach of the rules to be appropriate. An issuer will not face enforcement action by the SFC and the exchange at the same time in respect of the same set of facts. 2. Obligation to avoid false market. Main Board Rule 13.09, brackets 1. If it is the exchange's view that there is or likely to be a false market in a listed issuer's securities, the issuer must announce the information necessary to avoid a false market as soon as reasonably practicable after consultation with the exchange. An issuer is also required to contact the exchange as soon as reasonably practicable if it believes that there is likely to be a false market in its securities. Under Main Board Rule 13.09, brackets 2, where an issuer is required to disclose inside information under the SFO, it must simultaneously announce the information. An issuer is also required to simultaneously copy to the exchange any application to the SFC for a waiver from the requirement to disclose inside information and to promptly copy to the exchange the SFC's decision whether to grant such a waiver. 3. Obligation to respond to the exchange's inquiry. Under Main Board Rule 13.10, if the exchange makes an inquiry concerning unusual movements in the price of trading volume of an issuer's listed securities, the possible development of a false market in its securities or any other matters, an issuer will be required to respond promptly to the exchange's inquiries in one of the following two ways. 1. Provide to the exchange and, if requested by the exchange, announce any information relevant to the subject matter or matters of the inquiries available to it, so as to inform the market or to clarify the situation. Or 2. If appropriate and, if requested by the exchange, issue a standard announcement confirming that the directors having made such inquiries with respect to the issuer, as may be reasonable in the circumstances, are not aware of any information that is or may be relevant to the subject matter or matters of the inquiry, or of any inside information which needs to be disclosed under the SFO. The standard form of the announcement in response to the inquiry is set out in Note 1 to the Main Board Rule 13.10. This announcement is made at the request of the Stock Exchange of Hong Kong Limited. We have noted that the recent increases slash decreases in the price for trading volume of the shares slash warrants of the company, or we refer to the subject matter of the exchange's inquiry, having made such inquiry with respect to the company as is reasonable in the circumstances, we confirm that we are not aware of any reasons for the price or volume movements or any information which must be announced to avoid a false market in the company's securities or any inside information that needs to be disclosed under Part 14A of the Securities and Futures Ordinance. This announcement is made by the order of the company. The company's board of directors collectively and individually accept responsibility for the accuracy of this announcement. Main Board Rule 13.10 states that an issuer does not need to disclose inside information under the rules if the information is exempt from disclosure under Part 14A SFO. The exchange reserves the right to direct a trading halt of the issuer's securities if an announcement under Main Board Rule 13.10 cannot be made promptly. 4. Trading halts or suspension. Main Board Rule 1310A requires an issuer to request a trading halt or trading suspension if an announcement cannot be made promptly in any of the following circumstances. A. Where an issuer has information which must be disclosed under the Main Board Rule 13.09. B. An issuer reasonably believes that there is inside information which must be disclosed under Part 14A SFO.
Or C. Inside information may have been leaked where it is the subject of an application to the SFC for a waiver from compliance with the statutory disclosure obligation or where it is exempt from the statutory disclosure obligation, except if the exemption concerns disclosure prohibited by Hong Kong law or an order of a Hong Kong court. The exchange also has the right to direct a trading halt in an issue of securities, where a. there are unexplained movements in the price or trading volume of the issuer's listed securities, or where a false market for the trading or such securities has developed and the issuer's authorised representative cannot immediately be contacted to confirm that the issuer is not aware of any matter that is relevant to the unusual price movement or trading volume or the development of a false market. B. The issuer delays in issuing an announcement in response to inquiries from the exchange under Main Board Rule 1310. Or C. There is uneven dissemination or leakage of inside information in the market giving rise to an unusual movement in the price or trading volume of the issuer's listed securities. Paragraph 3 of Practice Note 11.